We're in Backup Exec 20. I'm going to show you how to delete a storage device. So we're in the Storage tab at the top in Backup Exec, and we see that our storage device is here. So if we right-click on the device and we go and we try to delete it, we can see the delete is grayed out. So let's go ahead and choose to disable the device. So now the device is disabled. We right-click on it and we choose Delete, and we say, uh, are we sure we want to delete this one? And we'll go ahead and click yes. And then it says, hey, two jobs are already scheduled to be used for this storage device. Give us a new storage location. Well, guess what? I don't have another storage location. So let's see what it says. So it says that storage has not yet been configured. So even though I don't have any other storage devices, it still let me delete the storage. Now, this was not true in previous versions of Backup Exec. You actually had to go and go to Backup and Restore and either change your job so they're using a different storage device by clicking Edit and then going to Edit again and then Storage and then you'd have to choose another storage device or you would have to delete the backup jobs that are here before it would let you do that. So you have to right click and choose delete on all the backup jobs. But now in Backup Exec 20, it lets you go ahead and delete the storage even though you've got jobs that uh, no longer have a storage device to backup to. So that is a, an improvement, I would say, in Backup Exec 20 because now we can go ahead and plug in a new storage device and go ahead and configure using the Configure Storage button.